Good morning here from Drayton Manor Resort again, a couple of months later from where we was before. We're here today to do all the rides we didn't do last time. Let's check everything out really. We're going to start our day on Jolly Bucking here, the pirate ships here. It's a little like ski jump ride. Just about to have a ride on the bounty. Today. It's a bit slow in operation, so there's also an arcade here at Drayton Manor. We're also going to take you around Thomas Land, just to show you what they've got to offer here. We're in the Sodor Airport Cafe, here's a look at some of the food and prices. Down there, Gonna have a ride on Sheriff Showdown, the interactive shooter. Just been on Sheriff Showdown is a look at the new Intamin coaster which they're planning on building. There's nothing on the site at the moment. It used to have Apocalypse, the drop tower here. Just had to have a ride on Drunken Barrels, the barrel ride which actually has a tilt, making it very unique. The theming is actually quite good in Drayton Manor, isn't it? Especially this building, it's very well themed. I'm not too sure if Storm Force 10 is open today, but the water has just gone on and the boats have just been sent out, but one has stopped. I think that might just be the um, making room. But there's no riders on board, so I think it might have uh, not be opening, or maybe it's just testing now.
So look over Adventure Cove over there. It's a very nicely themed area. Perfect timing. We got Maelstrom going round, Storm Force 10, and then Shockwave's climbing up the lift. Unfortunately, Loki's had a breakdown, which is a shame. It's not my favourite to ride around this area, but it is unique. We've also got Yomanganda here, the powered coaster, and then the store. The fact that that's the key for Storm Force 10 and goes all the way up here must mean it's very busy today. Also get beer at the castle bar. Here's the prices. 
can even sit at a barrel as a table. Little things like that do make the park. You've got your Drayton Manor merch here. Some nice merch for Drayton Manor. Some cups here. And then there's your classic merch as well. With your teddies and stuff. There's even a big tent you can eat under. Cove River Rapids. Can't wait for this. I love this right? Rapids. It's a very long one as well. You get some great views over Shockwave and everything right there. It's a really good Rapids. I love the theming as well. It's so good. Look at that theming. the water underneath through the floorboards. Just been on the Wave Swinger and Adventure Cove River Rapids. Very nice wet rides. Uh, I'd like to see Congo tomorrow with the waterfalls for the first time. But uh, we're going to make our way to the back of the park to the Vikings area and we're going to go on the dark ride again. <laughs> Uh, another ride on the haunting near the end of the day. Theming down there is the lights not switched on. It'd be great if it was because there's some good theming down there. I'm gonna end our day in the Vikings area. I do not like this ride. <laughs> So we're going to leave the Vikings area now. Um, uh, Loki is broken down today, so it's not open. Thor it is open, but it's got an extremely long queue. And uh, also has the coaster as well, the Ormangander. So we went on the horses. I like the onboard audio on there, to be fair. But, uh, yeah, I've done Thor anyway, so I'm not that bothered about it. I did it a couple of months ago. There's the coaster, Ormangander. The weirdest pronunciation of a coaster. Anywhere I could think of. It's a nice little coaster that is. It used to be the Buffalo Coaster at Drayton Manor. I don't know if they're the same train though. There we go.
gonna have our last ride of the day on the Bounty. The UK's best swinging ship in my opinion. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this vlog here from the Drayton Manor Resort. Uh, it's been a great day, nice to get on some rides that I haven't done before. We'll be back here next year sometime, but tomorrow we'll be back at Alton Towers. And I've got a fun fair next week, uh, and there's also a video coming out on Friday, so stay tuned for them. Um, yeah, it's been a great day. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out when we upload another video, just like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.